Hey guys, we quit YouTube. You wanna know why? Keep watching. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> We've got the hiccups. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Oh. Luke, the window cleaner. Using the new Mormon accelerator. I'm on steroids. Oh, oh. <laughs> I cleared a bunch of brush. We just moved into a new house. We'll probably get into that later. And I cleared a bunch of brush. And then I got chiggers real bad on my legs. Or like I've got this huge rash all over from my, my knee down. So the doctor gave me steroids. I don't know if hiccups are a symptom or a not a symptom, a reaction, but I've got them. So let's do a quick review on the Mormon Accelerator. I don't really like it. I don't know, the negative degrees are pretty cool, but it's probably because I'm not using a liquidator channel, but I'm just, I'm just a picky bitch. I don't really like it, I don't know. It's, uh, it's just not all, I don't know. I think we're going back to use some wagtails. Okay, so we don't use the liquidator. We use um, just a standard channel. And the thing that we're noticing, it seems that the channel is sitting in the tool with a bigger degree. So 25 seems like 45. 45 seems like an insane, an insanely steep degree. So anyways, we're leaving mistakes on the glass, which, yes, I am a noob and I don't know what I'm doing, but I've used that Mormon accelerator for a long time and I've never left these kind of mistakes. Here, let me see if I can reproduce one of the it'll be right here in the center no that one was perfect hang on it's just, it's just hard for me to make a mistake here it really does it, le it leaves these chunks and I can't figure out why I tried it with the teeth on there. I filed the teeth off. I put tape on, no tape. It's kind of aggravating, but. I'm 100% wagtail. I refuse to use it. I'm done with the accelerator. Marcus, I should have listened to you, man. Oh. <laughs> you were right, Marcus. All those years should have been listening to you. The wagtail is where it's at. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> The next thing we're getting rid of uh, is the bucket and the sleeves. We're purging. It's just hard because um, even on like the worst days with the Mormon sleeve, it's still better than anything else I can find. So why are you gonna get rid of it? Why don't you like why don't you like Mormon? It's the principle behind it. They they obviously changed something with the Velcro. The sleeve used to be bomb. The Velcro is failing on all of them. I'm not getting the ones with the two two scrubbers anymore. But still the Velcro. It's like why did you have to change it? You just can't let it go. No! I won't. <laughs> This bucket's fine, but I just don't want to carry it. <laughs> I have recently switched to the Zero Silencer. What is up with that name, though? Anyways, it's a pretty cool bucket. It's like the Gunslinger, but it doesn't leak. Why do we quit making YouTube videos? Like 
doubled in size. Yeah. Um, which is great. Who knew that having a, a good website could do that? <laughs> and so, yeah. not only did our business like double, we had an employee, we moved, we bought a house. Uh, so that's been taking up a lot of our time. And then we lost our employee. We actually got that on camera, but then the file got corrupted. We lost our employee in an interesting way. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> I had to put my foot down sometime. But um, we wish Jacob all the best. So if you're looking for a job, please feel free to visit lukethewindowcleaner.com slash employment. So with the new website, Luke and I went from doing residential two, maybe three days a week, uh, if we work Saturday, and then maybe we throw one on like a Friday. So we had like, we would do two full days of residential, we throw one on a Friday, and then if we were extremely busy that week, we'd throw, one, uh, throw a couple on Saturday. That wasn't every Saturday, it was probably like every other Saturday. With the new website, Luke and I went to doing residential five days a week. And so, luckily, when Jacob quit, we just happened to be in the first week of the slowdown. So the slowdown happens after the 4th, so we're still kind of in the slowdown right now and then towards the end or middle of August we'll pick back up so that's why we're trying to find another guy as soon as we can ASAP. but it was kind of cool so it was like almost like residential like we had never done that much residential before I and mean, we have plenty of experience with it but doing five days at least sometimes six days with window cleaning and gutter cleaning it was just crazy we didn't touch a single storefront this summer not really no okay so we've got some storefronts today obviously we have a, we have a gutter cleaning and we have a whole window cleaning that's been rescheduled literally since may and it's the end of august or end of july god bless her she just doesn't want it done when it's going to rain and we're pretty cool with that like we're flexible i don't care they're being for the service and that's kind of how we view it that like, how are you going to be mad at someone that doesn't want the service done, like, right away, you know? And it's literally a few clicks on the computer and she's rescheduled. So, anyways. But, it kind of looks like rain. It's raining. Oh, raining. Raining. We're not far from her house, so I think we're just going to go by and see if she wants this, and see if she wants this done. Still raining. We went to the house and they uh, they did not want to have service today. She doesn't want the windows to be cleaned at all if it's going to rain. So they were very nice. It was nice to meet them in person because we've only talked on the phone. She sent us pictures of her house, which is our favorite way to do estimates. If you take a picture of each side of your home from the outside, text it to our number. We can give you a quote right there. And uh, so we hadn't met her in person, but her and her husband were extremely nice. Yeah. We're going to push it back to first or second week of October. Fingers crossed. <laughs> It'll probably end up raining. Yeah. <laughs> so we bought a house. And if you don't care about this, you can skip ahead. But we did buy a house. And buying a house is not fun. Everyone says it's fun. You see these TV shows of people fixing up houses. And it looks fun. But it's not always fun. When So we closed on the house. The next day I went to go clean it before we moved in. And our neighbor, who happened to be the previous owner's grandson, was actually in the house, even though we owned it. So we had a little... Some, we had some words. It was weird. We had some words. Luke had some words. We ripped out the uh, garage door everything because we didn't want, we changed all the locks. We didn't want any surprises like that again. And then we moved 
and the first day we moved in the air conditioner cracked out so we went ahead and replaced the AC the furnace and the water heater mm -hmm. just because they were all old so that was some money some money right there um, we knew that the fascia boards were rotten out so we hmm. Uh, we're planning on replacing that, so we ripped off the gutters to replace it with a better, bigger gutter. So we're in the process of putting brand new gutters and fascia boards on that. We got a quote for new windows in the home because there's storm windows, and so we're gonna we're doing that as well. We are doing that, yeah. It's scheduled for, and I think it'll be done in another three or four weeks. Mm -hmm. And then they're also doing the vinyl siding on all of the uh, dormers and. Uh, and Luke and my father, my dad has experience fixing up homes. Um, he and Luke went and redid all of the electrical in the garage in the basement because it was just oh my gosh, a mess. Was insane. It took them two weekends to do it, two full weekends just to do that, not including some other stuff they did. We replaced all the garage door openers. Um, and really most of that work was just gutting all of their wiring. It was a lot, a lot of wiring. Two dumpster fulls of more than that because we also, we also have like a junk pile from all the ballast we ripped down and everything. But anyways, that was crazy. So, and we're not even scratching the surface on the inside of the house, but... Which needs to be updated. So that was a huge reason why we did not upload any YouTube videos. I mean, that just needed to take priority. And we added to our family. Yes. Brian. Brian. I love you. He got me in the eye the other day. I was being a dummy and I got too close to him and he scratched my eye. Pretty good too. I had to go to the doctor. All's good though. <clears throat> He's a Sphinx Bambino mix. He's amazing. He's really, really cool. He's naked. And he's cold all the time. <laughs> I think he's acclimated a little bit. When he first came over to the house, he was shivering just nonstop all the time. I think he's acclimated. He doesn't shiver as much now. We have to like build him cocoons of blankets <laughs> whenever we leave so he can cocoon himself in. Something about a sphinx though, they actually, you know, like obviously as humans, when we don't shower, we stink. They kind of, they, they're the same. It's not like a normal, you know, like normal cats, they just bathe themselves, which he does too, but he actually stinks, kind of like a gross little kid. Like, yeah. He does. It smells like a dirty little kid if he's not, if he doesn't, if you don't bathe him. It's weird. But he likes baths. I've never, yeah. had, I've never had a cat that likes a bath. He's awesome. And he's, I can do it by myself, so. But the cool thing too about him is, I mean, that's always the nightmare of bathing other cats is that it's it's the drying them is what sucks and he's like a he's like a, a human you just water just runs off of him it's so cool <laughs> so life updates i don't know if this will this is probably not going to come out before the convention but if it does we are going to the convention this will be after the convention. Or, actually we leave on Wednesday. It could be the day of the convention that, that we head down. If, if I have time to edit it, yeah. It'll be exciting to see everybody at the convention. We're looking forward to hanging out with, I mean, it's a huge list, but uh, Jordy and Katrina, TJ, Steve-O, the Josephs, Chris and Alex. Steve-O's Alex. Steve-O's Alex. How did she get at the bottom of the list? Should be further up on the list. Mike Nichols. Mike Nichols. There's no, there's no specific order to this list. Mike Nichols, number one. Mike Nichols, <laughs> number one. Mike Nichols just posted something on Facebook that said he can't wait to be uh, Did you see it? He said he can't wait to be a 70-year-old man drinking coffee early in the morning at Hardee's complaining about the government. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like so spot on. That's like, we're at Hardee's right now. That's exactly what they do. Mm -hmm. All right. I was falling asleep there. Just got to the strip mall. 
we are hired to clean the outside of it once a year. Ooh, big money. So we didn't actually see this property in uh, person. I quoted it online. That's what I do all the time now because I'm like super lazy. Um, <laughs> that's helping a lot. See this vinyl? That adhesive there from the old vinyl? Anyways, it's all over the windows and uh, we had to call the property management lady and be like, uh, we're not doing that. Could we? Mm, are we? Nothing. Because that's like really a pain in the butt. So that looks pretty good. <laughs> it's just like for that window right there, I mean, at least 50 bucks for that window to remove that stuff. That stuff is the biggest pain in the neck. And here's more of it. So they're, they're, what I'm saying is they're not gonna be happy with their work here. Well, this is just one store, so. Let's keep going. Yo, yo. Hey, talk to me. So I left my other wall sander at a job the other day. I think this is the best one I've gotten so far. It's a, what is that, Marshall? Marshall. No. It's a good one. Yes, these can be found at Home Depot or Lowe's. You can find them there. Wall sanders. Some gutter cleaning. These gloves are worthless. I don't know how you could do anything. Maybe paper crafts. Nope. Probably still cut it. We typically wear latex gloves. These ones are so thin. Like if you blow on it, it's like. I don't know where I got snip. those. I probably should wear latex gloves. If when it's dry debris, it's okay to wear like these kind of gloves, which I prefer because sometimes the gutters are sharp in there. But anyways, these are just. Did they rip already? No. Really. But they will be ripped by the time we're done. They will be. Oh, our bags are wet. I love it that you're putting them back here now. It's awesome. We just had somebody apply for the window cleaning position. Emmanuel. We're going to set him up for a working interview tomorrow. If he shows up, you know. He's requesting $16 an hour. I don't know. Maybe Emmanuel's worth it. We'll just have to see. I like to do work interviews, especially with guys that have experience. That way, you can really see what kind of experience they have. Because some guys are like, oh, I'm so good, blah, blah, blah. And then you work with them and you're like, okay. All right, here we go. Not too bad.
Being able to walk through the roof always makes it so much faster. Just be careful. I'm not telling you to walk the roof. Probably shouldn't walk the roof. That's it. So we got to leave like a little early, but then it wasn't early because... It wasn't early, we worked 12 hours. Well, we worked 12, it seemed <laughs> early, it was 4.30, but then we stopped and ate, and then we stopped at the P.O. box, and then we stopped at the bank. And after depositing, it takes the teller like a freaking million years to count a couple hundred thousand dollars, so I don't know what was up there. <laughs> <laughs> then. Uh, we did a live video and the internet connection sucked, so I feel like technology is completely against me. Like, we have probably like you better say bye. zero battery here, so I better say goodbye now. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, we'll see you guys next Wednesday, and don't forget to like the video, share the video, hit subscribe, and yeah, I guess that's it. Mm -hmm. I was like, end it, end it. Mm -hmm. All right, later. Mm -hmm.